Hey, what's going on, folks? Well, I kind of predicted something to this uh, effect happening. Um, I had a feeling that Raptor, the Hustler Raptor, uh, the sales of their mower, the Hustler Raptor and the Hustler Raptor SD, um, that they lost some of the the value of their mowers. Um, they switched over to a Kohler engine this year. And I've never seen this uh, from Hustler before um, with the Raptor. Anyway, they're offering right now Raptor season, $200 off sales event. And it's for a pretty long time, May 27th through July 6th. Um, I feel sorry for my man, um, Customs, New Jersey. Uh, he just bought a Raptor SD, but he could have got $200 off. But, you know, I, the reason why they are doing this pricing, I believe. Now, this is just my opinion, guys. Nothing more than that. Um, I could be wrong, but I had a feeling that the sales of the Raptor were going to drop significantly. Because, um, you know, let's face it, with the Kawasaki engine, with the fabricated deck, I mean, there was no mower close um, to the, the Raptor at their price point, you know, $27.99, $29.99 for a Kawasaki um, engine with the fab deck. But as you can see here, they're taking $200 off um, these mowers now. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I did a couple of videos on it, you know, about I th if I didn't do a video on, I don't know if I did or not, to be honest with you, but I know in a lot of the comments, I wrote that this was a very, very bad move by Hustler. Um, I don't, I did a video talking about what Kawasaki told me personally, uh, why they switched brands. Um, it was mostly that. Kawasaki does not really want to be in the big big box stores anymore. And I guess um, he said that they gave him an ultimatum kind of to take the Raptor out of the big box stores. But um, I guess they were selling like hotcakes because from everyone I talked to, they couldn't even keep them in the stores. They would they would sell out by 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 May and, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot. Now Lowe's is the only company that carries them. The, not the only company, the only big box. Home Depot and Lowe's carried them last year. This year, it's strictly Lowe's. But anyway, yeah, he got the 54-inch. He could have got $200 off. Um, my man, New Jersey Customs, great guy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Um, you know... There's nothing that separates this mower from the pack anymore. Once you get rid of that Kawasaki engine, you're getting a Kohler engine. And again, not saying that the Kohler engine is bad. Not at all. I um, actually heard a lot of great things about the 7000 series. But, you know, for commercial use, again, I the thing about the Raptor is a lot of people, even though it's definitely a residential mower, no doubt about it, a lot of people use them as a... Um, as a, a spare or a second or a backup uh, zero turn. Because, um, you know, you do have a nice engine that is very reliable. You do have a fab deck. So a lot of landscapers use this mower as like a backup. Uh, that's how I kind of got brought in by it. Um, and I liked it so much. I said, hey, I'm going to start using these full time. But, you know, you're starting to, as the hours move up, you, you, you start to see some of its limitations. Um, still a great mower. Still the best value out there. Now, that was, not anymore. Once once they went over to this Kohler engine, there's nothing that separates it from the Cub Cadet. You know, they have a fab deck with a, um, a Kohler engine, I believe. Toro has um, fab decks with, with the Kohler um, and, you know, Gravely has a low-priced, uh, the ZT, 
that you can get. Every company now has a a higher grade residential mower with a fab deck and with a Kohler or a Briggs type engine. And like I said, that's what made the Raptor um, special was it had the Kawasaki. But, you know, this is just me telling you. But anyway, they are having a Raptor season sales event. If anyone's interested, um, you know, I saw this. I was just looking something up real quick, and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I mean, you can get a 42-inch now for $25.99. Man. So, and this, it's just it's just crazy. But um, yeah, I'm looking at the prices here myself, and I'm, I'm blown away. But... Yeah, and off the Raptor flip up, the forty eight Raptor flip up, you can get three hundred dollars off. Uh, right here, the forty eight only, not the fifty four, just the forty eight. So sales must be really bad here for this forty eight model. So, you know, I always give you my honest opinion, guys. Um, you know, I'm not one of those guys that, because I own a Hustler Raptor. I'm gonna tell you, it's the greatest thing you know, in the world, I love it, go buy, go buy one, no, no, that's not me, man, if you know my channel, I'm being totally honest with you, um, just my opinion, I'm not bashing any of you guys that have hustlers either, um, most of you guys who do have the hustlers, you have, you know, the fast tracks, the X1s, you know, this is not a commercial mower by any means, but, you know, a lot of people are going to these SDs and these Raptors, and, um, Thank God most of you got them before the Kohler. Um, I'm not saying the Kohler's are bad again. I don't mean to, I don't want to go over that again, but um, I had a feeling the sales were going to be a lot different with that Kohler engine on it because, again, it lost a lot of its value. Nothing separates the Hustler Raptor from the Cub Cadet, the Toro, the Gravelys of the world. Um, you know, um, I'm trying to think of some other brands. I mean, even like the Bobcats, uh, the Bobcat CXZ, they dropped their price to thirty nine ninety nine. Um, their base model, I think it's a forty eight inch. But you know, you, you, like I said, for thirty nine ninety nine, you're getting pretty much. Well, it beats the Raptor SD now, to be honest with you, because I think it's for the the forty eight Bobcat. C X Z is $39.99. Okay. Uh, but with that, you're getting a Kawasaki. You know, with this, you're getting the Kohler. So, I mean, they're, they're giving you $200 off now to maybe fight against that Bobcat, the new introduction of that mower. Uh, Bobcat re redesigned a couple of their mowers for 2016, that being one, and they lowered the price. So, Bobcat's getting into this too now a little bit, but. You know, it is what it is. Um, they're, they're still great mowers. I mean, I, I'm not going to tell you that. They're still good mowers. I mean, even my mower, you know, I, I do a lot of nice talking about it. But, I mean, my 52 has been in the shop now for over a week because of a bolt. Um, and I still haven't gotten it back. So, you know, you, 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 you see limitations once you get, you have it over a year, once you... Really, you know, I have 110 hours on it. Um, you know, I had to put, I'm up to 15 hours on my 42 in this past week. So it actually, I would have like 120 on my 52 right now. So once you start putting a lot of hours, they sit in the trailer. I'm driving all over a the place. They start shaking, bolts start getting loose. I mean, you really know the limitations of, of the Hustler Raptor. So um, I'm being real. I'm being honest. Um not saying anything bad about Hustler. Again, just my honest opinion. And um, that's about it. I want everybody to have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, you know, again, I can't thank you guys enough for, for watching some of my vids. And I enjoy all your channels, everyone. And um, really, that's all I have to say. And um, I'll talk to you on the next one, guys. Have a happy Memorial Day weekend.